Yo, what's up, people? Hope you're having a good day or a good night, whatever time it is that you're watching this video. Man, I just hope you're having a good one. So, ooh, oh my goodness, man. I've been waiting for this for quite a while now. This is the amazing Yamaguchi Deadpool 2.0. And as you can tell, I have not taken any time out uh, to give him a look uh, once over once again just like 98% of my videos I am doing this on the spot right I just got this guy in the mail a couple of days ago along with the X-Force version of Deadpool that's right I got the black and gray one and I got the black and red one um, yeah I mean they, they freaking are the same exact Deadpool figure uh, to give you guys a look so here is the X-Force version 2.0 body and here is the normal standard version um, of the 2.0 body so one thing you need to know about amazing Yamaguchi figures before you purchase them uh, they do have some joints that kind of stick out in a weird way so you got to remember that that's one thing that's probably their most uh, distinctive feature about these figures is the way all those joints kind of like stick out like that and you can just kind of see them all over the place like there 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 and there there used to be one right here but they got rid of it and there used to be some um, at the ankle and they, they've, they've gotten better at hiding it it's there but they got really good at hiding it so you can see that right there so this is the 2.0 body style for Deadpool right and you're probably wondering okay so i'm new to this whole thing what's the 1.0 body look like all right cool i'm glad you asked <laughs> i'm so glad you asked man i got your back yo i got your back bam all right so here is the i know it, it's there's a huge huge difference and man this thing was okay they were, I'm, let me finish my sentence first <laughs> i'm getting i'm getting ahead of myself all right uh there's a huge difference between the look and the feel of both of these figures but this is 1.0 this is 2.0 okay 1.0 2.0 and you can see the difference obviously he doesn't have any hands on right now because I can't even lie his hands are a pain to get on and off for me I don't know what it is about this guy but they're a pain um, as far as height they stand about the exact same height um, actually 1.0 is slightly taller so I'm not sure what the thought process was behind that but 1.0 was slightly taller but you can see the difference in paint color the difference in sculpt the difference in pretty much every freaking thing right let's go let's check them out there's a side view of them check out the side of their heads they gave them more of a little thangalang right there it's hanging down more and more hanky downy like that that tickle, 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 you know what i mean it's right there they got the shoulders everything just looks different i mean they completely took this guy into the lab and just revamped him and all of the changes i like i like all of the changes check out his back the back of the neck the back of the head um his his shoulder straps his um belt loop and his pouches i said belt loop his belt his pistol belt and his pouches check out his straps on his leg and his pouches the back of the knees which back of the knees do you prefer the ball back of the knees or the flat back of the knees flat back or ball back you tell me check it out check out the little gaunt the gauntlets right there um or the, the um the shin or not shin but the forearm guards and while we're talking about it, the shin guards. Oh, we didn't get a knife on the leg on the 2.0. Oh, wait, but there's a little plug for a knife. And guess what? One of the best things about this guy is that we got weapons. I know some figures have not been coming with weapons anymore. Guns and, you know, well, knives. Okay, to be more specific, we haven't been getting guns anymore. But, you know, Revoltex, like, you know what? Psh, give those boys some guns. So we got some guns. All right, so let's get right to it. Um, one of the most important things about Revolt Tech figures is that they are extremely, extremely articulated. So we have the head is moving up and down very far up and really good down. The neck is also moving along with the head. And that moves so much better than a 1.0 body does. Look how that moves. Easy peasy banana squeezy. All right, cool. So the shoulders look like this. And they do look a little weird because of the ball joint. But like I said, Revoltech are some of the most articulated figures that you can purchase right now. Besides like the synthetic humans. But they're like robots though. So the shoulder cut is, I'm sorry, the bicep cut is right there. 
all right one thing you must know is that his arm's a little flat right here it feels kind of weird but it works though all right you can see the sculpted muscles and the sculpted detail all throughout his suit right there let's get a little closer in that red and we can see our double jointed um revoltech ball joint right there looking really good a little bit of a i guess that's his elbow i don't know what that is but the revoltech joint is right there and our forearm guard looks like that looks much better on the 2.0 than it did on the 1.0 i mean wow it looks so much more better all right so that does it for like the arm articulation but of course it goes up and back and there is like um this is like revoltex version of a butterfly joint it kind of moves like this it's really weird but it kind of works though it doesn't necessarily go in and out much like like back and forward this way but it goes up and down that way which is kind of strange but yeah it works look at all the sculpted detail in this suit right here making this suit look like it's tight on his body like he's real muscly and swole so it's kind of stretching out all right so you can see all the pouches and everything all over this um all over deadpool that looks really good we got different plugs and stuff for um our various accessories like i said we got guns we got um those Raphael weapons whatever those are called you know Raphael from ninja turtles he he's got those kind of weapons we got some swords and we got some guns okay so his pistol belt is also articulated and you can see the joint is right there so you can do like that like that you know down and out and you're probably wondering well why well some of his moves require him to do like you know like high kicks and if you do a high kick you don't want the belt to get in the way so you move it all right so let's make our way down to the body all right so the abdomen is moving like this let's show you guys how to add them like that all right we have motion here on the top part motion right here and motion right there well actually one and two points of motion on his abdomen okay so we're bending over like that far and then we're going back let's get it all centered and nice looking we're going back about that far so the back isn't going to go too much because look at the cut the cut comes like right there and up here it's way up there okay so that's why you're not going to get back that much but as far as the twist there's a lot of twist and there's a lot of bend right so the pilates the yoga all those kind of funny things you're going to do with deadpool is not going to be a problem with all this articulation um like i said man once again revoltec is so articulated do not buy revoltec figures and keep them in a box come on if you're an inbox collector you're probably not going to go with revoltec i mean you can but ah uh, man you gotta pull them out the box let them breathe let them stretch let them shake okay leg goes up about that much all right and leg goes back about that much and as i'm going back i can twist the thigh like outward which is weird but it kind of works for deadpool because he can do like all kind of silly dumb stuff got some plastic right here let's get that out of here but you get more articulation that way and while we're talking about the thigh the thigh cut is right there it's it's a real unique kind of thigh cut because of the way it's like his thigh is cut and shaped and it's going into his groin right there so it's kind of unique but it definitely works for this revolt tech figure okay so more pouches on his leg straps check that out looks pretty good and we have our good double jointed knee check that out looks real good i'm so glad they got rid of that revoltech joint on the knee it looked terrible like let me show you let me show you what i meant by that like look at this look at that revoltech joint ah man it looks bad like i'm so glad they took that to the lab and just hooked up 2.0 with a better looking um knee joint right there they took the revoltech joint out and went with like i don't know which one to call it a pegless joint yeah and uh oh snap what is this about right here huh we have some odd shin articulation that's interesting that's not human at all but i will take it for dynamic posing i told you guys man articulation is the number one thing with revoltech figures okay ankles are going down that much ankles are going up that much they're going out well how are we going out here oh yeah okay we're going in that much and we're going out that much that's a lot of um movement a lot of range of movement and i can't believe i didn't notice that that um that shin there's all oh, they snuck a revoltech joint in there you see it right there beep, 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 beep. they snuck a revoltech joint in there okay so that does it for the figure okay we have lots of accessories to go through really fast well maybe not really fast i'll take my time all right okay why not <clears throat> excuse me so 
first let's not go to the main tray yet let's take that main tray and throw it to the side let's talk about this little secondary tray that we got here that was just like randomly sitting in the box <laughs> it was like randomly just sitting in the box and it kind of fell out as i took everything else out but ah whatever let's talk about it so here we have our various eye lenses and you're probably thinking wait what yeah that's right we're gonna put this down for a second and just like 1.0 you can pop these lenses off so instead of alternate heads they allow you to pop the lens out and swap out his um eye lenses for different facial expressions if i could do it uh, wow that's tough i'm gonna leave it alone i don't know how the world do you do that let me see because i know his head pops off probably somehow some way all right i'm at the come back and revisit that man but that is extremely tough and if i look at the back of this eye lens i could probably see why it's so tough look at that oh look how look how like how wide the um the peg is that's why i'm having such a hard time getting the eye out okay but anyway i will show you the eyes we have two more sets of eyes for different facial expressions. We have a cell phone, looks like an Android to me, white with green, or it could be an iPhone. We have a <laughs> a cartoony, a very, very, very cartoony stick of dynamite right there with the little flame on the edge right there of the edge of the wick. That's cool. We got two daggers with the cases or the sheaths, and we have this little plug for his back right here. I'm going to assume that goes right into his back. Okay. Um, I do love the cell phone. I, I, mean, I, I don't know why, but there's something cool about figures coming with cell phones. I guess because cell phones like are a part of our everyday life. Um, so it's cool to see that. We have a, a stand right here like always and we have one layer of or one tray of accessories let's pull it up here are our directions these directions are super important look at that see it's telling me that i need a tool to pop out the eye from the back which is why i was struggling pulling it out from the front so the top of his head does come off and i could pop the eye out from the back and then you can see how you can pop off his head and switch out the eyes for different facial expressions but now that i think about it oh wait a second yeah um my bad i was wrong we did get different heads with also with different facial expressions like the eyes the squinty or the derpy eyes and the big eyes surprise eyes but then we also got our our standard head which is this one right here and this is the one we can switch out our lenses on okay so that's cool that's cool so um, I know there's a bunch of men out here watching this review, but guess what guys you better read the directions <laughs> We got a bad habit of not doing that. Anyway, we have two long katana style blades Looking really really nice black and red on the handle. We have the sheets for those that go into his back. We have two um, holsters right here and check it out these holsters have little pegs on them right there so you're gonna take those pegs and maybe plug them in there if you want to plug them in here if you want to plug it back there if you want to plug them what makes more what makes the most sense is to like underarm carry those bad boys like that okay so you can plug those in right there we have um two sets of guns we have a i believe these are smaller pistols with holes in them and what we got here okay so let's look at this together shall we um yeah okay so these are smaller pistols with holes in them for pegging of course and these are larger pistols but the exact same style let's get a close-up at these guns here generic looking weapon these must they look like some sort of like futuristic style weapon it doesn't look like any normal gun that i've seen but eh, whatever but uh wow look at these little daggers right here let's check this out look at this an again another like futuristic style weapon i like that all right so and these are the weapons um i'll have to look up the name for these um particular blades right here but these are the ones i was telling you about that look like the raphael weapons all right so we got some pointer fingers we got different gestures you can have uh cell phone holding uh karate style posing figures or fingers thumbs up and stop what you're doing because i'm about to ruin hands okay so check that out that is your tray 
okay people so like I said I got the gray one and it is exactly the same why about both I have no idea I was just super excited for Deadpool 2 for Deadpool 2.0 okay so that has been your Deadpool overview or review if you like what you saw go ahead and give me a like give me a heart leave me a comment let me know what you think about Deadpool Deadpool oh my gosh <laughs> Deadpool 2.0 man is it a cop or is it a drop let me know in the comment section guys see ya